Yeah, and David Gilbert here is just quietly going about his business. Need some cover here though. Or has he been lucky? Not sure. I'm just wondering whether the cue ball's gone far enough. Or too far, I should say. Uh, yeah, Ronnie's looking to come off the side cushion here. Now, this is not guaranteed because the red is slightly away from the pocket. It's not right over the pocket. It's got to hit this well because he'll be going into the reds. Oh. Hang on. What? Well, how do we ever doubt him with that one, Phil? Well, the pot was well judged, as you say, Mike, and the position's a real bonus. Yeah, needs to do some damage here, some real damage, and try and win the frame in one visit if you can. And then, obviously, you'll be looking at two apiece at the interval. If you can get there with that score, that would be handy. Virtually every pot from O'Sullivan being greeted with enthusiastic applause. This crowd would love to see him in full flow. It's not happened yet. But we've seen so often, it just needs any kind of spark and away he goes. He can just get through to this one, but uh, can he get himself onto the black? Certainly can. Well, he could do with moving that red near the black spot. That would help. Fifteen. Could have done with the cue ball. Just coming back 22. another couple of inches. Twenty-three. Thirty-eight. Thirty-nine. Forty-four. Just short of ideal position on the blue, so we'll have to be content with a mid-range red here. Important that he puts his frame on the board, though, Phil. He, he can build from here, can he? And, and the other thing as well, you know, into the interval at two apiece. He's got to fancy him in the second half of the match. Little cannon on the middle of out of the three would be perfect. Oh, it's got in with power. That will do nicely. Ah, here we go. All of a sudden, 
starting and starting to open up, I should say. As you often say, Phil, that the rocket has left the launch pad. It's not quite left yet, but the engines are warming up. 66. Now then, he's won the frame. Can he make the ton? 67. I went to see a, a real rocket leave a launch pad once, Mike. We were on holiday in Florida and went to Cape Canaveral to see a, a launch and got up at some time ridiculous in the morning, about 4 o'clock to be there, pre-dawn anyway. We got to the, the car park where you can see these things happening about five minutes before the launch. We were told because of whether it had been aborted. I was very pleased about that. So that one didn't leave the launch pad then. Yeah, I've never been, been to Florida a couple of times. I've never been there when there's a, been a, a rocket launch or shuttle launch. 82. Our rocket in snooker is a lot more reliable. Hmm. Well, the weather won't be a factor, that is for sure. That's more like it. Eight hundred and seventy-nine career entries so far for running. It's amazing that, isn't it? I mean, I, we were talking about will he go past the thousand mark? Well, he will because he said he wants to play till he's fifty. David having to sit this one out, but uh, we were thinking that Ronnie might be retiring within two or three years, but. He said if he's fit enough, he wants to keep playing when he's 50 years of age. That's fair enough. And we hope he does, because we love watching him play, especially when he's playing like this. Yes, 880. What a, a phenomenal figure that is. 108. Yeah, Stephen Hendry, second on the list, now inactive, of course, retired. 112. And then the top five is completed by John Higgins, Neil Robertson and Mark Selby. But O'Sullivan way out in front. And as Mike said, adding to the total all the time. Yeah, what can you say? Brilliant. Well, he didn't perform particularly well in the first couple of frames. Decidedly sluggish by his standards, but 130 clearance in the third means that Ronnie O'Sullivan is off and running. Dave Gilbert's lead has been reduced to 2-1.